Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sunny, and these horoscopes right here right now are specifically for everybody. <laughs> for the week of August 27th to August 31st, 2018. All right, I did it. Let's get down to the action here. I always get messed up with the dates. For those who don't know, I'm a professional astrologer, and I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada. And if you want me to look at your personal chart, just check it out in the description box below. In addition to all of that, it is a video, and we do have some messages at the beginning, so if you want to fast forward, go ahead and fast forward. Just a reminder, we always we have the overview first, and then we're going to have the individual horoscopes. And for everybody, it's important to watch the overview and calibrate the horoscopes for your personal life, because depending on where you're born, the events are going to happen a little later or a little sooner or are going to be a little different, all depending on your personal chart. And... So that's the action. So that you know, if you're you know, so <laughs> calibrate the horoscopes so that they they mean something to you, and that's the action. What else is going on? Uh, once again, if you'd like a personal reading, just check it out in the description box below. Uh, there's also a new tarot workshop that's going to be happening, and it's going to be on September 8th. Again, there's a link to that in the description box below. Spaces are limited. I do them over Google Hangouts, and it's a lot of fun. For those who don't know the story of the tarot there are a couple of different ways you can learn how to read the tarot or how to interpret the story and the messages and you know you could like memorize each individual card which is good you could memorize every single symbol and the history or you could do it you know many different ways but i'm a professional astrologer and i do know the stories attached to the cards and my approach is a little different i show you guys that you already know how to read the tarot uh, the tarot is just a you know, a system of morality, so to speak, or system of ideas, or the way that's veiled in allegory and depicted with these symbols. And I'll show you that you already, in the workshop, I show you guys that you already know the story and that the cards uh, just represent the story that you already know. And once you realize it or you look at it like that, you quickly understand that you already know how to read the tarot because that's what it is. <laughs> that's, is that's the whole point of it. And um, so I'm just saying, my tarot workshops, you don't have to know anything about uh, tarot or reading the cards or being psychic or whatever or anything going into it. And to come out of it, you'll know quite a bit. And uh, once again, it's not about what you know you know. It's what you don't know that you already know. And that's the action. And that's what the teacher does, the uncarved block, right? Shaping the uncarved block. The teacher's supposed to draw the knowledge out of the student. You already know the action. So that's my tarot workshop. If you're into that, check it out in the description box below. In addition to that, so what do we say? So we have, so these are the horoscopes. There's blah, blah at the beginning. Oh, I shoot these horoscopes live every morning here on Breakfast with Sunny. And if you want to take part in the Breakfast with Sunny show, just subscribe to the channel. You know, please share the videos. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you drop by, please say, what's up? And that's the action. And right there we have the Sunny Siders going. <laughs> so I get a little distracted it's because the Sunny Siders are, um, are, saying what's going on uh, now there's one more thing before we get on with the horoscopes oh this is like five minutes long sunny you go blah 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 i do go blah 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 here we go one of our sunny siders her name is topaz she has a website she's relaunching a website called topaz jewelry what the hell this is not that this is the horoscopes called topaz jewelry and gifts dot net and this is it right here and you know she's has one of a kind art here that's very cool she makes all the jewelry it's topaz jewelry and gifts dot net and uh you know we're trying to support her here <laughs> this is the deal you know we're supporting topaz so by all means check it out she has a halloween series crystal accent pens lots of stuff it's uh it's all reasonably priced and she's awesome and you know here on the sunny siders it's all it's not all about sunny it's not all about sunny going blah 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 it's about it's together that makes it a beautiful day and topaz has done a lot to support the channel and i'm just going you know i don't get any i don't get anything from it see that's the url is right up there there's no hidden link or anything and i don't think there's a hidden link <laughs> and so anyways check out topaz's stuff and if you drop by make sure you say hello I said, what's up? And tell her that Sunny sent you. <laughs> so, 
All right, so topaz, jewelry, and gifts. All right, let's get back. Let's get down to work. Let's do the overview, and let's check out the action. So here we go. This is it. Big blue triangle. So the first thing we do in the overview, so make sure in the overview, the um, so make sure you calibrate the horoscopes for what's going on with you. Right? If this is, I'm writing the horoscopes or I talk about the horoscopes today from two different perspectives. I'm going to talk about it from your rising sign, right? Which is, when we talk about the rising sign, we're using the house system right here. And when we talk about your sun sign, where you're doing distance from your sun. And it's different. The, s the planet, the house, and the sign are similar, but they're all different. And I'll, exp I'll just give you a brief rundown on that right now. The, um, you know, the f and it's not as easy as you think it is. The first house is how you look, how you appear to the world. And... Um, Astrologically, the first house is ruled by Aries, and Aries is ruled by Mars. However, in classical astrology, the rulerships of the houses are from the slowest moving planet to the fastest moving planet, and the slowest moving planet is Saturn. In classical astrology, the first house is ruled by Saturn. I know, it gets confusing, doesn't it? But you just got to know the different levels and how to filter it out. And so it all, you know, it all depends on what's important in your life and how to filter it out. So those are things to watch out for, but they are different. The first house doesn't necessarily mean, you know, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't necessarily make you aggressive. If you have a lot of planets in the first house, it doesn't make you competitive. It makes, it's, it affects how you look and who you are and where you place the emphasis of the planet. It doesn't make you have a lot of competitive Aries energy that could be where it could be like like the least competitive sign <laughs> like it could be like you know something totally different so keep that in mind and quite often myself included once again myself included uh, when we're going on and on and when we write a lot of horoscopes and when you're a professional astrologer and you're trying to find different ways to keep things fresh it's very easy to to say and explain things in ways where the sign, uh, you know, to describe the house in terms of the sign is very common. So just be cool, roll with it, but know in advance that they are different. Everybody cool with that? All right. So that's the thing. Be super cool with that. Uh, but, you know, for general purposes, it's not... It's not the biggest deal in the world, but I am a little nerdy and I am a little square and I do get uptight quite easily about this whole scene. So you gotta so just be cool. Anyways, what's going on with the overview? We're gonna have a full moon on the like the day before on the twenty sixth. We're gonna have a full moon on the twenty sixth. Or rather, let's twenty one degrees, four degrees. See this? The opposite sign? But there's no red line here. So the full moon is when we have the red line. Oh no! Wait, I got confused. I just I missed it. Where did it go? Where did it go? I just my phone just made a beeping sound, and the I got lost. Hold on. Anybody see any red lines? Couldn't see. Sonny, you you're confusing yourself. I am confusing myself. What day of the week are we in? 27? 4? 15? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Any red lines yet? 3? 13? Oh man, I'm confusing everybody. 3? 10? Come on, red line. Come on. Red line. Red line. Red line. You, you're cheering for red? Yeah, I'm putting all my astrological money on red, playa. August 26th at 12.30, 3 degrees, 5 degrees, let's back it up, 3 degrees, 3 degrees, that's the red line, this is the full moon, August 26th at 8.30, see that? So that's when the full moon is going to be, 
Everybody cool? <laughs> I mess everybody up? I'm just going blah, blah. I'm a little spaced out today. Let's let's get the, let's put it back. Let's see if we can get the horoscopes back on what we're doing. 27th, Aries on the Ascendant. Oh, Denise, it's easy. You know if you're rising. You know if you're rising because you hit your head on the roof. He doesn't laugh at nothing. He's uptight. He's up. He's a Capricorn. He ain't laughing at nothing. He laughing like ha ha ha. <laughs> All right, back to work. <laughs> you have to know your time of birth to have your rising sight. Oh yeah, Denise is like lit. It's your blood pressure. Oh no, wait. Okay, you guys calm down. I gotta stop paying attention to the chat. <laughs> Let's get back to it. All right, here we go, Aries. Oh no, for here we go, everybody. So there was so that's what a full moon looks like. I'm a little all over the place this day. Maybe I'll edit the video a little bit. And so and I gotta plow through this in an hour, so let's do it. So So there was a full moon on yesterday, so things are gonna be exposed, things are going on, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. And so that's just the action on that. This triangle is a separating aspect. So for everybody who's watching the video today and we're doing it live, know that this triangle is going to come into play. Now, excuse me. Oh, man, I'm leaking chi. All right, so here's the overview. So what's going on? The moon is going to chug along. So what? Well, not so what. The moon is going to be in Pisces. So everybody's going to be feeling artsy-fartsy. And, you know, there's a full moon. Guys, the biggest thing this weekend is the full moon. Something is going to be exposed in some particular area of your chart. See this 19 and 20? This 20 is going to move to 21, 22. This 19 is going backwards to 18 very slowly. So this is a separating aspect as well. Mars is going to be direct. I guess we should talk about, that's what I'm supposed to talk about right now. All right, let's refocus. <laughs> so Mars is going direct this week. That means things should be opening up. Now, I've been hearing things, um, I've been hearing things, and the, um, so two things. First, the full moon is going to expose something for everybody this weekend, for better or worse, but whatever is whatever. Now, Mars is also going direct, and I was upstairs talking to Papa Sunshine, I was talking to the peeps about what's going on, and everybody's like, Sonny, my astrologer says blah, blah, blah. First, I don't know why I'm not your astrologer. <laughs> it's the first thing. And so, but you kind of get used to it. It's like, whatever. <laughs> but like, the, um, just like, there ain't no way in ass hell he go be my economic advisor. <laughs> and so, and so, but anyways, Gold Dust has a really good question. She's saying, this question is a really good question and it's come up before. And last time it came up, I got angry. <laughs> but this time, it's a good question. Since it's in Pisces, will it affect Pisces more? Goldust wants to know, since the moon is in Pisces, will it affect Pisces more? Okay, let's do the full moon again. The full moon is on the weekend. Right? It's going to be on the 26th. And it's not going to affect Pisces more. It's going to affect Pisces differently. Something about Pisces physically is going to be exposed. Or something very, something about Pisces, something about all of us will be exposed. But depending on where it falls in your chart, that's what's going to happen. Now, is it going to affect Pisces specifically? It's going to affect everyone who lines up numerically. So it's going to be at four degrees. Let's say it's at three degrees here, three or four degrees. If you're if you have planets at three or four degrees, or your ascendant, your angles are at three or four degrees, it's going to very much affect you, very seriously. Otherwise, it's gonna affect you in a different way. So like, let's just look at it like this. It's gonna, something about Pisces is gonna be exposed. Something about, you know, who they are. Something about Pisces identity will be exposed on the weekend. and. You know, with Virgos, it's going to be about the relationships, right? This is the axis that's going on right here. And so 
It's a good, it's a really good question. I remember Sunny Sider said it once and I got angry at them, but <laughs> it's, it's a good question. Now, let's leave the full moon because the full moon's in the past. That's this weekend and that's uh, the weekend video. But for the week, the Mars, Mars is going direct. Hey, Takuna, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And hey, Rebecca. Oh my God, Rebecca was born with the sun, four degrees cancer. Oh my God, four degrees cancer. Yeah, that's going to be okay. You're going to have... Something is going to... Rebecca, something's going to affect you at a distance. Holy moly. Something is going to affect you at a distance. Something about higher learning. Something about education. If you're trying to get into a program and to take some kind of course or schooling or something, that's going to come out. If you wanted to travel somewhere, that's going to come out. If you have a relationship with someone at a distance, that's going to come out. And the spotlight is on your transportation or your car. You might buy a new car. Uh, but whatever it is, transportation, communication, and something at a distance or higher learning is definitely going to pop up. It's interesting. Hey, Luch, what's up? Oh, my God, Luchi's son is at 2 degrees cancer. Holy crap. Luch. Hey, Luch. First, hey, Luch, what's up? <laughs> and second, you're doing photo shoots. Yeah, that would definitely do it. And so... So, so anyways, yeah, if you're a cancer, a lot of cancers on the channel, the full moon, it's going to affect people. The full moon is going to, in a big way, affect people on the cusp. Not, it's like three degrees, so just after the cusp. Anyone who's born at the beginning of their sign, that's when it's going to happen. <laughs> That's a cute question. Alicia says, if you could make a new star sign, what would its personality be? That's a good question. That's a difficult question. That question can get me talking for hours and hours and hours because that's that's a, a diff an interesting kind of thing that we talk about in the entertainment industry all the time. You know, about creating uh, personalities, uh, about creating your public image. It's a, it's a good question. For me, that's an interesting question, but... We're not going to answer it now because we're shooting the video for the we're shooting the horoscopes for everybody. So if you're born at the beginning of a sign, this full moon is going to majorly affect you. So keep it up. If you're watching the video on the weekend before the 27th, just know that for this full moon, something about you it's going to be very it's going to be intense. If you're an early Leo, it's going to dramatically affect your money. Right, this full moon, boom. This is your financial access. Let's just take a moment and go around the zodiac about this. Overview is important. And then we'll talk about the Mars. Because everybody's going on and on and on about, oh, Papa Sunshine said, my astrologer sent me a message that's saying, because Mars is going blah, it's like, it's the most important day in 50 years. And I'm like, Don't, why you got to be like so stupid? Like, it's not like that. And so it's not like that. And so sometimes it's like that. This isn't like that. Look, 28 degrees. This is about as benign as it gets. Nothing's even close to 28 degrees. 28 degrees, like nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it's not, this Mars is completely isolated. It's nothing. And so, it's not nothing, but it's not violent. It's not making an aspect to Uranus. It's not like making an aspect to the sun. It's not making an aspect to Venus. It's like, it's nothing. <laughs> it's like, I wouldn't worry about it. It just means... The gates are opening up. Okay, back to the full moon. Who's the full, How is the full moon going to affect everybody? And who is it going to affect? Yes, it will affect early cancers. It will affect... I'll, I'll show you on the chart. And let's start with Virgos. If you're a Virgo... Because the sun is in Virgo. Or let's start with Pisces. Let's go up here because the moon's in Pisces. If you're born right here, if you're an early Pisces... The full moon is going to affect your identity. Something about your identity is going to be on full display. Like, if you have a fake leg and nobody knows it, they're going to find out. If you have, like, if you have, like, hairy legs and you didn't tell nobody, everybody's going to find out. If you have, like, if you're really, like, a brunette and you've been bleaching your hair, that's the kind of stuff. I know it seems, like, kind of silly, but that's exactly the kind of stuff that people are going to find out about Pisces this weekend. If there's something about... If people always thought you were like 
a professional race car driver, but it turns out that you're just like, you know, you, you're like a PA in the film industry and you just stand there and hold the sign, they're going to find that out. You know, if you're masquerading, it's so what I'm trying to say is for Pisces, the mask is going to come off. We're going to find out something about Pisces this weekend, and that's just the action on it. If you're an air, if you're, and then we're going to go backwards. If you're an Aquarius, if you were born early in Aquarius, this is you're going to find out something about your financial situation, and it's it's tough because it's t if you're an early Aquarian, it's very. Um, yeah, that's funny. Something about Pisces' appearance will be uncovered. Yes. So, like, if Pisces has dyed their hair, they're going to find out about it. Or about something about Pisces' personality. If they, if Pisces always says they like you and they like you and they like you, and it turns out that they don't like you, you're going to find that out. All right? If Pisces has been saying bad things about you behind your back, you're going to find out. If Pisces has been saying good things about you, you're going to find out. Something about Pisces is going to be revealed. Their appearance and, and that. If someone is like a Pisces, like walking around because they wear high-heeled shoes and they're like walking around at like 6'2", when they take their shoes off and they're really like 5'1", you're going to figure that out. That's what's going to happen. Aquarius is going to have it tough because the nodes, an early Aquarius is having a sense of destiny right now. And they should like go do stuff. Like their thing is their thing. And the full moon, this is this is going to affect Aquarius. Um, Aquarians who are born early Aquarians, I would expect a sense of destiny to be revealed about you. And the full moon is going to affect your finances. Hey KZ, what's up? Just a reminder, Karen, and to all my Patreon supporters out there, this Sunday is Sunday with Sunny. If you guys are kicking around, do 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 do. Do 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 do. So that's the action. Do 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 do. And so, what else is going on? And then we have Capricorn. If you're an early Capricorn, you're getting it hard as well. See the full moon. The low numbers are getting the action here. The moon is going to be at, th at three degrees. The full moon's at three degrees. So if you're an early Capricorn, the moon, you know, is going to make an aspect to Saturn. And that's going to be harsh. And if it's crossing your natal sun, it's going to be extra harsh for Capricorns, right? It's going to affect Capricorns' transportation and communication. So some full moon, like Capricorns, their car might break down, their computer might break down, their cell phone might crash. They might suddenly say things to people that they wouldn't normally say. And Capricorns are definitely going to lose their shiz. Like, if a Capricorn is going to be uncool, they're going to be uncool. And look, look, we just we just muted one of our Capricorns on our channel for getting a little, you know, for crossing the line with how she speaks, you know. We'll bring her back a little later. But for right now, the Capricorn's been muted because, you know, she couldn't hold her shoes together with the full moon right here. And so you sh we should begin to be feeling the effects of the full moon right now. And that's what's going on with Capricorn. And if the sun is here, it's extra difficult for Capricorns. Very, very difficult. If you're an early Capricorn, it's very difficult. And I know a bunch of sunny siders are early Capricorns because I've read their charts right here on the channel. I've read them live for you guys. Moving backwards, for Sagittarians, for early Sagittarians, the full moon, something is going to be exposed about your home life. And so, the, I should make, you're right, Gold Dust, I should make it into a separate video for the full moon. I really should. <laughs> but maybe I will. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. A separate video for the full moon. For the early Saggies here, it's, so everyone who's born early is going to feel it. So, like, for the early cancers, right, you're going to feel the energy. Like Uranus is in a low number. The sun is in a low number. The nodes are in a low number. Saturn's in a low number. You know, the moon is going to be a low number. Chiron's at a low number. Guys at low numbers are crying all the time. They're upset. People who are born early in the signs have it very difficult. And this full moon is going to affect people who are born low 
in the signs. I know a lot of people are like, is it going to affect Pisces more? Is it going to affect Leo more? Is it going to affect these guys more? It doesn't really work like that. It's it's going to affect people born low, born early in their sign. That's who it's going to affect the most. And obviously, if you have an early rising sign, it's going to affect them quite a bit as well. And so, But really, it's going to affect not so much <laughs> not so much it's the people who are born early in the there's a sign that's going to affect and so cancer cancer born early early in the sign like the spotlights on communication and transportation everybody's looking at cancers at who cancers are speaking with that's what's happening and the full moon is happening at a distance in higher learning and education and on the big screen of things so okay we'll get to cancer in a sec but it's happening to cancers you know that's what's happening to Cancers. The spotlight's on their, who they're talking to. Anyways, whatever. Sagittarians. Early Saggies. What's happening with these guys? The full moon is going to affect their home life. Something about their home life is going to blur it out. And it's also going to affect their finances. And they're going to be upset romantically. And early Saggies getting pregnant unexpectedly. For Scorpios. For early Scorpios. Now, I'm not early anything. I'm born towards the la latter half of the sign. So... But for early Scorpios, you're, this is a situation where it's going to affect your something about children and uh, your romantic possibilities. So for early Scorpios, whoever you've been dating, that's going to come on display. For, for early Scorpios, you might be pregnant and not know. If you're pregnant, you're going to find out. Uh, but it's who you're dating, what you're doing for fun, and... If you accidentally got pregnant, that's going to be on full display for early Scorpios. For early Libras, it's going to be about your health. It's going to be about your habits, what you do every day. If Libras are smoking behind the scenes and nobody knows about it, everybody's going to find out. Everybody's going to find out if um, you've been smoking. You know, Libras, if you've been smoking, everyone's going to find out. If you've been going to the gym, everybody's going to find out. If you've been jogging every day, everybody's going to find out. It's better or worse. And that's what's going to happen. If you haven't been doing the laundry, people are going to find out. If you didn't cut the grass, people are going to know. You know, it's your health and your habits. Also, if you have some kind of bump and you didn't get the bump checked out, you're going to find out if it's a bump or if it's like a bump. You know, that's the deal. For early Virgos, the full moon is going to be... First, for early Virgos, this is an extra... The spotlight is on you. <laughs> well, it's your birthday, right? But... It's going to be about your relationships, your committed relationships. And I went about this before. You know, Sonny, I'm not in a relationship with anybody. What does it mean? Well, this is dating over here for for Virgo. This is the people, and this is the people, this is what you do every day for Virgo. And these are the people that you see every day. And so these are the things you do every day. This is the people that you do it with. So if you're sitting there, and I said this a million times, if you wake up in the morning and you take your goat for a walk and walk up that hill and you go to the well and you're like, you drop the, and then you milk a unicorn. And like, if you wake up and you take your goat for a, and your bucket for a walk and you walk up the hill and you get one bucket of water in the well and then you stop and milk a unicorn on the way back, then this is your unicorn and your goat. You guys got that? You guys got that, Virgo, and all those idiots who say I'm not in a relationship? If it's over here, Virgo, this is you having sex with your goat. If it's over here, this is you trying to sell your goat for money. If it's over here, this is your goat This is your goat uh, winning money at the fair. If it's over here, this is you walking your goat to go milk your unicorn. You guys got that? Stop bugging me with dumb questions. Well, maybe it's not a dumb question. Let me calm down. <laughs> Let me calm down. Okay, <laughs> maybe it's not maybe it's not such a dumb question after all. Maybe it's not such a dumb question. But um anyway, so that's what's going on with Virgo. They say would you say the full moon thing only affects people born on the cusp? No, not at all. Not at all. I think it's going to affect everybody, but I think the intensity of the moon is going to happen. It's like Okay, let me keep playing. It's like when you have your luck in the world, like not everybody wins the lottery, you know. All right, Roxanne, have a wonderful day. You know, some days, some days you're really lucky and some days you're just kind of lucky, you know. Some days, really good things. Like some days you walk down the street and you find money on the street. Some days you walk down the street and you don't find nothing. And 
You could be walking right beside someone else and they see find money and you don't. Or you could be standing in line somewhere and they come and pick someone else over you, even though you're more qualified. So it's not it's gonna affect everybody. It's gonna affect everybody. And the, you know, it talks about you know, we could talk about emotional boundaries and energy and all that kind of stuff. But really the truth is the truth is what's gonna happen is we're gonna get uh we're gonna vibe out on the um in my opinion, the low number signs are going to be activated. This is, this is, um, it's going to, it's going to act, it's, Luch, it's going to activate, it's going to, like I say, you know, we all have the potential for everything in your chart, right? And so it depends where it falls in your chart. And I just, you know, it, the potential in your chart has to be activated. And this full moon, is going to activate the solar energy of people who are born at the beginning of the sign. I'll say that again to try and add some clarity to it. It's going to affect everybody, of course. We're all in this together. But it's going to have a great imp It's going to unlock the solar energy or the ego energy, the personal energy, the spotlight of where it's shining in the chart for those at the low numbers. This part of the chart, these transits are unlocking are unlocking the potential of people born at the beginning of their sign. And so for other signs it's happening, yes, but to a less intense degree. So the full moon for Virgos affecting their relationships, it's like like the moon is where you want to be. Virgos are going to do something very special for their partners right now and if Vir and it's the full moon is something is going to be uncovered so this full moon here is going to uncover something about how Virgos feel about their partners for and I'll, I'll keep going and for and it's right on your you like it's the sun it's you <laughs> and so it's what's happening and I'll use the guys and I'll demonstrate in a sec I'll, when we get to Cancer, I'll demonstrate. For Leo, the full moon is in your astral sector of joint finances and getting jiggy fun. So it means the sun over here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> hey, Frank, what's up? Yes, you guys are late. Virgos are lame. <laughs> you shouldn't have stepped in the hole. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna make it late. I just joke it. We talk about Virgos all the time, and so, but the um, <laughs> no late Virgos are not lame at all. But if you want me to do your personal chart, you know, just check it out in the description box below. I'd love to look at your personal chart, and I'd love to tell you all about it. And but. So the sun is, so the planets are going like this and the full moon is going to shine on this area of the chart here. And it's what you want to do. And I'll explain it again using the guys in a sec. But for Leo, the full moon is going to expose something about joint finances, you know, inheritances. So if Leos have been waiting for money, they're going to find out about the money this in the next couple of days. Probably today or Monday, Leos are going to find out if they're going to inherit some money or not, or what's going on with that. And uh, there's more to it. There's we'll, we'll cruise around and I'll tell you guys more of what's going on. Uh, it's also the people Leos have been having sex with. So for Leos, especially Leos who have been born early in the month, if you've been having sex with somebody, everybody's going to find out. And I made jokes about this yesterday on yesterday's video saying... <laughs> <laughs> if it's some signs, really not going to like it. But Virgos, you're probably going to open up. I mean, Leos, not Virgos, not Virgos. <laughs> Leos, probably going to open up the windows and tell everybody. But the nodes are right here on Leo as well. So it's a big deal. Now let's go to Cancers and I'll show you. Cancers are going to have it super tough. So all early signs are having it tough. For Cancers, something about your financial situation is going to is going to happen. You're dealing with some financial realities. Again, financial realities. Something is going to be exposed at a distance for cancer. Travel, transportation, communication. The spotlight 
is on cancer's communication. So if cancer's been talking to somebody that they don't think, you know, that's going to cause problems, this is going to, it's going to be exposed. People that cancers are talking to are, and you know, they don't want anybody to know about it. <laughs> it's going to be on full display, so you got to watch out. If cancers are traveling, that's going to be on full display. If cancers are going to school, taking a new course, that's going to be on full display. And the spirituality version of the whole deal is on display as well. There's more to it than that, but I'm going to go on forever. Now watch this. Watch this. So here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, so, sun, <laughs> or like spotlight. And it's going on, and the moon, the moon is what you want to do. Hey, ball, I'm over here. This is who I am. This is what I'm doing. Everything is cool. And this is what you want to do. Do, 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 do. Hey, I want to go over here and do this. Oh, but I'm like, got to do this. I'm coming. And the sun moves slowly. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, look, some grass. Let's eat some grass. I'm coming. I'm coming. But the moon is like, hey, check it out. We over here. I want to go over here. I want to do this. I want to do this. And wherever the moon is, this full moon is going to expose that shines a light. So the moon is what you want to do. And so that's why a moon relation, a moon aspect in um, astrology is so important in relationship astrology or synergy because you want to do it. So if you have a moon aspect, like if your moon lines up with the guy's sun, you want to back the guy. People ask me all the time, is this guy into me or is he just playing me? Well, if the moon makes an aspect to your sun, then like that guy is into you. Like he's into you. When I look for relationships or I'm doing astro a synergy charts or relationship astrology charts, I look one of the first things I look for is a moon connection because it means no matter what, no matter what, the guy's got your back. And so Okay, so that's the first thing I look for. So the moon is what you want to do. And as you guys see, for those who are new to the channel, I do uh, mini readings on the channel all the time. And you guys see this all the time. What do you do for a living? You know, Venus is where you make your money. It's how your money's coming in. But the moon is what you want to do. And a lot of people for their career or their hobbies or however they structure their lives, the moon is quite important with figuring out what they're doing and so they're going along do 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 and the moon is over here this is a full moon ah i can see you i can see you yo player what's up i can see you homie hey what's up you should come over here i'm trying i'll be there soon come back and so you can see what you've been doing but watch this this is what you've been doing kind of you're doing you're doing you're doing and then bam i got you player and now where it is falls in your chart is what is going to happen. Because this is the sun. This is the moon. This is you. <laughs> that is different. And so... You guys got that? <laughs> Alright. So there we go. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Frank, I, once again, I would absolutely love to look at your personal chart. I would love to look at your personal chart. Just set it up. It's in the description box below how to do that. All right, so that's the deal. Let's get back to the action here. Let's continue with the full moon. We'll do, I'll come back and I'll do the horoscopes a little later. See you later, Luch. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to have to leave shortly. So we'll f continue with the moon, and then I guess I'll do the week the horoscopes again tomorrow but all right what else is going on here so that's the deal cancer it's an early cancers are feeling the nodes and that's what's going on now for gemini's do 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 do, do especially early gemini's they're going to be feeling this full moon and it's going to happen very publicly for them so something about Something about Gemini's, it's going to be revealed publicly. Everybody's going to find out about Gemini's. Even if they want to stay home, something, they're going to find out about it. I'm a Gemini rising, but it's not the same, you know, not the same. But 
there's something that's happening here. The, you know, for Gemini's, for Gemini risings, we're looking at the house here. For Gemini's, it's a little different. It's a little different between the house and the sign. But for Gemini, something public is going to happen. In addition to all of that, there is a sense of destiny in travel and communication. And I'll, I'll explain this to you a little bit. So I'm a Gemini rising. I'm going to use myself. I'm a, Gem I'm a double Scorpio. I have a tremendous amount of Scorpio energy in me. Tremendous. And I am a, a double Scorpio. Not as much as Topaz, but a, I'm a double. And then we have a lot of... Um, but I'm a Gemini rising. I'm a chatty Scorpio. And as such, I'm picking my motorcycle up today. So that's a sense of destiny. That's a sense of fate. And that's a full moon happening to me. Everybody's going to, you know, everyone who hasn't seen my bike yet is going to see my bike. And so, so travel and transportation, right? This is a node. It's going to be highlighted and it's going to be highlighted and activated. And remember, the energy is an applying aspect. It's going to happen now towards, and then we're going to have a separating aspect. As it applies, everything is going to happen. You know, we have to, so as it applies, applying aspect versus separating aspect. I'm going to grab my bike later today, and that's the nodes in this astro sector of travel and transportation. The full moon is highlighting it, so everybody's going to see it. You know, it's what I've been working towards. You know, it's this guy. It's what I'm working towards, what I'm working towards. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And then... Du -du 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 hey, I see. That's what you're doing. And that's what's happening to everybody. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, I see you. And that's what the whole deal with the full moon is. And it's different for everybody in different areas of the life. For those who are born in an early Taurus, the full moon is going to be in your social network. So an early Taurus, the spotlight is on relationships right now or people that you're in kind of... um a dating kind of vibe with or people you want to be romantic with. So Taurus, everybody's looking at the people that Taurus want to be jiggy cool with. And not like jiggy funky cool with. That's a different kind of scene altogether. But they want to like, you know, candlelights and ice cream. Candlelight? Candlelight and ice cream? Anybody eat ice cream by candlelight? I'm more of a moonlighting ice cream kind of guy. But that's what's going on with Taurus. The spotlight's on Taurus and their... Uh, excuse me romantic relationships and that's what's happening romantic relationships but okay so that's romantic the spotlights on Taurus's romantic relationships a lot of Taurus is here on the channel and over here the full moon it's going to be on Taurus and their social network so it's kind of a friends and lovers thing if Taurus has a crush on someone people are going to find out about it that's what the action is. If Taurus has been hanging out with groups of people, they're going to find out about it. Taurus's social network, that's what they're going to find out about. Taurus's, um, you know, Facebook, people are going to find out about it. Social media, this is social media for Taurus. And that's the action. And it's dramatically going to affect, see, sudden and unexpected Uranus. This is dramatic. It's going to dramatically affect people who are born at the beginning of Taurus. So like, for um, for Dada, you know, Dada and Papa Sunshine who are born at the very beginning of Taurus, like they're born right on the cusp here. And there are a couple of other sunny siders here who are born right on the cusp. For these guys, for these guys, it's a situation where there's, um, so for, like they're going to, something sudden and unexpected and dramatic is going to happen to them. I don't know what it is. But they got to be cool and watch for something to happen. Once again, the full moon is going to highlight and activate their social network. So Papa Sunshine, we have the kids coming over today, right? Scooter's coming over. The Pookster's coming over. The kids are coming over today. The spotlight is on kids. And so, right, so for Taurus, early Taurus, the spotlight is strongly on children right now. And that's what's going on on romantic sector. Tauruses should be babysitting. Right now, I'm saying that because 
Audrey probably babysitting right now. <laughs> and so that's what's going on. And so, all right, next. And finally, uh, finally, Aries. Aries, very patient today. Thanks, guys. And so for Aries, the spotlight, Aries is going to have it. Aries is probably going to have it most emotionally difficult. Something sudden and unexpected is going to mess up Aries' money. That's going to suck. <laughs> and something... So the spotlight is on Aries in the past. This is your access of helping other people and it's your access of health. Something The spotlight's on Aries' physical health habits and their daily life. But something is going to be uncovered about Aries behind their past. They're like going to be going blah, 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 blah. And suddenly, bloop! And the... And for Aries, suddenly the um, a skeleton is going to jump out of their closet and go, What's up? What's up? Right? And you're going to be like, Oh, seriously, man? But that's what's going on for Aries. Sorry about your luck play, but that's what's going on. Aries are going to have a skeleton jump right out and go, Wah! Boogie, boogie, boogie. So early Aries, watch out. But there's more. There's more. Early Aries have to watch out about sudden and unexpected fluctuations in their finances. They have to watch out for... For things being taken away from them at work. They have to watch out for some kind of destiny that's happening in their social network. They might have a friends into lovers transit. And on top of all of that, the sun is crossing Chiron for an early Aries. This is going to naturally cause a wounded feeling for these guys. These guys are going to get upset. So that's, that's the major deal. So that's what's going on with early Aries. And that's, okay, so that's the full moon. Everybody cool with that? Everybody cool with the full moon? Let's continue along. Let's continue along. I have another 10-15 minutes here before I have to leave. So we'll make this a double video about the full moon. And now we'll talk about Mars. What's happening to Mars with the individual signs. So once again, that's the full moon happening with everybody's signs. So be super cool with that because we got the vibe going on with that. And in addition to that, okay, so that's the full moon. It's going to dramatically affect people at the early stage of the, of the signs. Now, Mars is going to have a major effect on people born at the end of their sign. Do you see that? 28 degrees? Right. Now, it's been going... So once again, the full moon is going to have a major effect on people born early in the sign. Mars is going to have a major effect on people born at the end of the sign. And so... Not me. I'm born at like the 20th, uh, 20th degree. That ain't going to do not 25, that, whatever. <laughs> and so, so, there have been people, you know, okay, like I was going to do my Scorpio thing and say everybody's stupid, but I won't do that. We'll just continue along. And so, all right, what else is up? So, this is a big deal. Mars going direct is a big deal. Now, it is fairly benign. There's nothing else affecting it. The low number is a big deal. Five is a big deal. The full moon at three degrees, It's this is four degrees, but the full moon is going to be at three degrees. That's a big deal that's bringing in, unlocking the energy of a lot of planets. The full moon is going to get right in the face of this giant triangle, and it's going to be like, okay, well, that's giant triangle and the nodes. The full moon and... Chiron. It's a big ass. This is a big full moon freaking weekend. But whatever is whatever. You know, people do your thing. I'm excited. I can't wait to get my bike. You know, Scooter and I going to hang out and we're going to talk about Scooter and I going to talk about all of the, um, you know, how to do the music on the channel. And um, once again, uh, just another thank you to Karen, one of my Patreon supporters and longtime Sunny Sider here. She donated some instruments to my music studio in Vancouver when and now that I'm in Toronto I brought some of the instruments I brought all of the instruments with me I gave away a lot of instruments I gotta confess but I gave one of the flutes that Karen gave to, donated to the studio to my niece Scooter and she wants to pursue music as a passion so uh, when she comes today we're gonna talk about how to structure the music theory lessons online so I can teach all the kids music theory for free you know, because music lessons are very expensive, and and how I can do online music lessons for everybody for free here on YouTube, and so so just to let you know, Karen, you really inspired. It's because of you, because where you know because of you. Like, where am I going to get the money to give kids like flutes? <laughs> and so like, you know, and so 
the um, oh thanks Gabe I'm very excited and just to let you so Karen you really had a major impact on my niece's life you know she's a cancer she's artsy fartsy and um, she loves she loves music and who doesn't want to play a cool flute like that and so just letting you know you had a major a major major positive effect on the life of a beautiful young girl and that's how it works players <laughs> that's how it works and so anyways I'll talk to you guys more on Sunday about that stuff and I have gifts for you guys on Sunday but we'll do it on Sunday and I'll tell you all about it okay what else is going on okay so that's the full moon it's gonna be a big deal for a lot of people and that's why it's gonna be a big deal it's not a big deal because oh this is it's the farthest point away from Uranus that it's been in a long time or like this is poker. It's the farthest away from the asteroid. Or like, uh, you know, it's not like Darth Vader is coming back to slice. It's not because of that. It's because it's that's how the energy is working in the chart. Now, let's just take a couple of moments. We'll take 10 minutes and plow through this. Mars is going stationary direct, and it's a very big deal for the later signs. Now, excuse me. We were going like this. Mars is going backwards in the chart, so to speak. It's, you know, it was retrograde. And as it's going backwards, you're putting your energy and revisiting themes that we had been going through in a while. It's cleaning up messes. It's going back and it's cleaning up messes, so to speak. Now, it did cross. The big deal with Mars isn't that it's cleaning up. You know, it's cleaning up messes. But the big deal was when Mars crosses the nodes. That's a big deal. And it's going to happen again in another couple of weeks. And so then it's going to be a big deal. Right now, we've been revisiting things. We've been going backwards. We had a sense of destiny. And I'll use myself as an example again. It took a while. You know, it took all summer to do. They've been, it's been going, we've been like, I had the opportunity to do some stuff. I didn't do it. I thought about what to do. You know, was I going to do this or that? And I decided to, you know, things from the, that we used to do. Okay, so Mars going this way. Mars is in retrograde motion. Things we used to do. Mars crossing the nodes in retrograde. Things we always wanted to do. Everybody cool with me? Are you Are you guys clear with this? Mars in retrograde motion. Things uh, we used to do. Mars crossing the nodes in retrograde motion. Things we always wanted to do they're separate things so right now things we used to do I used to teach music I taught music to kids all over the world Sonny's music studio was famous you know it was right in the center of North Vancouver and I had kids from all over the world it was really it was a great experience and they loved loved it and you guys have seen some of the you know you guys have seen a lot of the stuff you've seen my adult students and whatever and so so that's things you used to do you re everyone is revisiting things you want to do and so this weekend or today especially I'm revisiting teaching music online you know I'm revisiting the idea I said no SLC was pushing me and pushing me and pushing me and I said are you serious I'm not doing it I'm not doing it I'm not doing it I'm done you know I'm gonna go open up a nail salon I'm gonna open up Sonny's nail salon in some city somewhere on a beach in the Philippines and I'm gonna like just hang there and and play my ukulele and if anybody wants the nails done then someone can do that I'll just hang there and I'll play ukulele and watch people get their nails done and make YouTube videos that was my life <laughs> I was planning for that life but then you know she's pushing me and pushing me and then <clears throat> I'm looking at Scooter I gave Scooter the flute and then I'm like uh, yeah look at Monica she used to do Reiki so she's probably gonna go back and do some more Reiki you know or Nadia says that's fun she's gonna see a client today yeah stuff we used to do and what else so I you know and but then I looked at it and I'm like I'm like what man and then I'm like scooter and nobody's gonna help the kid you know it's, the stuff is expensive to study with me privately is expensive you know, I'm her uncle. If she can't study with me, then who's she going to study with? And I give all my stuff away for free anyway. So, like, I'm like, ah, uh, and SLC is bugging me. Sonny, teach the kids. And I'm like, 
forget every. I don't care. I'm not here for. And then, so I'm doing it. And that's Mars retrograde. Mars retrograde crossing the nodes is different. It's a very personal thing. So everybody was revisiting something personal they used to do. And so, and, oh, muchacha, not only that, I was going to make YouTube videos so if, and show everybody uh, getting their nails done. I was going to make a reality show about it. <laughs> I was going to do it on YouTube. I still might do it. So that, you know, if someone gets like pictures or they have the art done on the nails, we'll make the video and show everybody how to do it. We'll do it. Maybe I'll still do it. I'm still stuck in the T dot. I got to find the place to do it. Anyways, that's, you know, that's Sonny's next business. First, he's got to teach to make a big, bunch of videos for kids. And then, but the nodes is something personal. Everybody's revisiting something they used to do. And so, yeah, can you imagine, Gray? That would be a lot of fun. Maybe I'll do it in North York, right? And you could come and hang out and get your nails done. <laughs> we'll, we'll just sit there and hang out. <laughs> that's a, anyways, the nodes, Mars retrograde over the nodes is different. That's me getting my motorcycle. It's something I always wanted to do. And with Mars, you, is what you do. it's crossing the nose. It's very personal. It's something you want to do. Do you guys see the difference? Good morning, Cassidy. So Mars retrograde is redoing something you used to do. Mars crossing the nodes is something you always wanted to do. And that's going to happen. Now moving forward, now this is all done. When something goes retrograde, you revisit an idea or something. And so Mars, we were all thinking about it. And if this is in your astro sector of relationships, this is a big deal. So like cancer, this is lovers from the past are coming back. F you know, people you used to be have relationships with are coming back for cancers. You know, people for Virgos who Virgos used to date are coming back and it's going back and back and back and back. And so you got to make up some decisions. Do you want to do it or not want to do it? Or something you used to, something cancers used to do for others is coming back. That's what you have to watch out for. We'll go individual signs in a second. For Capricorns, good, good question, Monica. For Capricorns, this is the way you used to look and identity. So if you used to always wear a hat, okay, so before I go on, that's the difference between Mars retrograde and Mars crossing the node. And it, they're both very important. And so Mars retrograde, you know, it's getting back together with people, it's getting, it's revisiting things. Cancers are getting back together with people they used to hang out with. And we're gonna, and Capricorns, it's how they used to look and identify themselves. And we'll move forward in a second. <laughs> Great, <laughs> this is funny. And so, Anyways, that's the diff that's the dis difference here and that's what's going on. All right, let's burn through this and I'll show you guys how it individually. <clears throat> when Mars goes direct, you're going to make your decisions and you're going to act upon your decisions. That's why it's an important weekend. The full moon is going to highlight all the nonsense you've been doing. If everybody does stupidness, the full moon is going to highlight the stupidness. You know, it's going to come out. Whether you want it or not, it's going to come out. And Mars is what you're doing. And so, like, you're going to make your decisions. You're either going to do it or not do it. And it's completely up to you. And you can do whatever the ass donkey hell you want. It's your life. Play it any kind of game you want. So Mars is going to go direct. And in a week or two, you're going to have it cross the, the nodes. And you're going to get back to what you should be doing. What you all not not should what you always wanted to do. You're gonna take one more pass at what you want to do. Anyways, let's get back to and do it individually. First, it's happening to late Capricorns. It's gonna happen. It's gonna majorly affect people born at the end of their sign. Excuse, excuse me. And for Capricorns, late Capricorns, it's gonna affect the way you look and identify with and present yourself to the world so if there is something that you know you want you know you feel you should be doing like if you feel like you should wear a hat all the time you're going to start wearing a hat if you feel like you should have short hair you're suddenly going to have short hair if you like feel that 
uh, you should express yourself in a certain way, you're going to do it. And you're going to, it's Mars, so you're going to feel the repercussions of whatever action that you decided to take. And that's just the way it is. It's going to affect your identity. So if you are, um, if you're like a really happy person, but you've been grouchy lately, you're going to be happy. You know, Mars is going to affect your identity and how you look. Uh, if you have a favorite shirt, you're going to start wearing that. It's how people see you. And with Mars going direct, you're, you're thinking of different ways to express yourself and different ways to assert yourself. Maybe at one time in your life, in your life, you were like, you were really pushy. And for some reason, you thought, well, maybe I should be more lenient and less pushy. You're going to start to be more pushy again. If you were like really nice and like if in the past, you were like, you know, garish and you had made like off-colored statements and you decided to be nice to fit in and suddenly you're like, you know what, maybe I'm going to be garish again. I'm just going to be, say, say it like it is, which is another way of saying being rude and offensive, you know, and disrespecting people's boundaries. I'll say that again. For idiots who say, I just tell it like it is, that actually means you're being rude, offensive, and you are disrespecting other people's boundaries but you could tell it like it is if you want and we could tell it like it is too <laughs> and so so that's the action it's the difference between telling it like being disrespecting other people's emotional boundaries and telling the truth there's a difference and i'm not a sugar-coated kind of guy so just saying anyways that's what's going to happen this is capricorns and their expressions capricorns and their expressions capricorns and their identity that's coming under attack. The way Capricorns used to be, that's the way you're going to be again. All right, next, let's move forward. If you were born in late Aquarius, something behind the scenes is going to jump right out and go, whoa, that's what's going to happen. A late Aquarius is, has some kind of attack, and it's going to be an attack, an attack behind the scenes, and you're finally going to make peace with it. We're revisiting we're revisiting the past cleaning up messes for Aquarius Mars moving backwards through this sector is gonna clean up a mess that was happening behind the scenes and we all know that Aquarians were um, the we all know that Aquarians had problems behind the scenes people from the past were attacking aquas and so that's just the way it was you're finally gonna make peace with the situation for better or worse I didn't say you're going to make lovey-dovey, hold hands, and rock into the future, happily ever, rainbow forever, you know. But I said you're going to make peace with it one way or another. And, you know, if making peace means suing the other person into a coma, well, so be it. But Aquas are going to make peace with this problem from the past, and then you're going to move forward and get back on with your life. As for Pisces, it's going to happen in their social network. So late Pisces... You know, there's a problem or there's something that you should be doing with the group or with the extended social network or especially on social media. And, you know, you're revisiting your relationship with larger groups of per people or any kind of social thing that you belong to. You're just going to revisit it. You're going to say, what's up? What's going on? And you're going to hang with these guys. And that's your action. No big deal for better or worse. And... That's what's going to happen. On Monday, it's going to be a big deal <laughs> because you're Pisces, right? This is a blue line. But on the weekend and leading up to the weekend, you're going to revisit something that happened in a group. I will say that again. Something happened to Pisces on so Pisces did something, you know, that got them. The truth is Pisces did something that got them in trouble uh, on social media or with a particular group of people. And... That's going to be resolved. So Mars going direct is going to cause a lot of resolutions this weekend. There's going to be exposure from the full moon and resolutions from Mars. If you're a late Aries, this is going to affect your career and the people you work with. Especially on Friday, Monday, Tuesday. Once again, applying aspects versus separating aspects. And then, let's see that again, Monica. Monica is saying that one of her Pisces friends is losing, is losing it 
trying to help him, but to no avail. Yeah, it's not that easy. It's not that. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. Anyways, for Aries, do 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 do. For Aries, we have a situation where now Aries. This is Aries' work. So Aries might have had a problem or a fight at work. I don't know all Aries out there, but and I don't really deal like I have. You know, on certain days I deal with a lot of Aries, but some days I don't deal with any Aries. Right now, I'm not dealing with any Aries, but like. So, but Aries, especially late Aries, it's going to affect your career and your work and something publicly. I don't know. Maybe you're always fighting with the guy at the coffee shop. You're going to have resolution there. Whatever it is publicly, you're going to have resolution and it might happen in your career. So be super cool, Aries. As for the late Taurus, for those who are born close to the end of Taurus, close to the beginning of Gemini. For late Tauruses, you're going to have some kind of resolution at a distance. Now, I know Taurus has been putting their energy at things at a distance for better or worse. You're going to have some kind of resolution. Like if you're traveling, Taurus, let's say you're traveling or let's say you're going to school or like say you wanted to go to school. You're going to make those decisions and be at peace with it and then go back to school. If you you know, wanted to visit someone at a distance, you're going to visit them and make peace with it. Whatever it is, whatever it is that you wanted that happened at a distance or happened in the grander scheme of things, you're going to make peace with whatever it is and then you're going to move on in life and everything is going to be really cool. It's the same with everybody. It's a weekend of resolutions, for better or worse. I don't say it's going to be easy or peaceful, but it's going to happen and then you're going to move on. Next, for late Geminis, this is going to happen in your astral sector of personal finances or your sexual relations. And it could be legal battles for Geminis, especially late Geminis. You could be revisiting legal battles. Um, it could be an inheritance. Money could come to you, Gemini, that you know you didn't you know expect or anything. Or like your support network. So, you know, revisiting things for people that you know financially support you or that you work together with and that's what's going to happen it's going to most affect gemini's who are born late in the month but for gemini risings like i'll give you another thing i'm a gemini rising this is my patreon group right this for gemini's <laughs> gemini this is youtube this is facebook you know this is social media this is this is uh my patreon group right here and I have something very special planned for my Patreon group. And I'm going to show it to you guys this weekend. It's, it's really cute. And that's what's going on with Geminis. And next, late Cancers. Someone is coming back, Cancer, in your life. And they're around there. And you're putting the energy. You might have contacted that person. That person might have contacted you. And you're going to like, you're going to deal with it. You're going to deal with these relationship situations once and for all. Next, Leo. I moved on because I talked about cancer a little earlier. Leo, and I got to go in a couple minutes. Dear Leo, this is your astro sector of health and habits. So if you're a late Leo, you have to watch your health. After this weekend, you might get a clean bill of health and it's time to move on. After this weekend, you might end up being sick. Something is going to resolve in what happens on a day-to-day -day life. It is also something else. It's like your day-to-day -day life. So say you like, you go to the coffee shop every day, and like, you know, you do something and do something, and you're like, oh, bleh. oh damn! <laughs> so <laughs> Nikki just sent me a question, and I started reading it, and then it disappeared off my screen. I'm like, <laughs> I'll get back. To, I'll read it. I'll tell you shortly, Nikki. And so for Leos. Leos have been very busy again. And shortly, being busy is going to resolve itself. The project, the stuff you do every day. It's like, say you had a, a problem on a project and you went back to fix it. That's what was going on. Or say you had a problem like you hurt yourself physically. You're going back. You should be healing up and getting ready to move on. Leo should be getting a clean bill of health or they're going to be really sick. It's one or the other. You're going to find out what's going on about your health. Next, Virgo. This is relation. This is dating. Someone Virgos date. It's so for Cancer. It's a relationship. Someone you had a relationship with, 
ex-lovers are coming back, ex-business partners are coming back, deal with. For Virgos, it's a situation where ex-lovers are coming back. Or maybe not ex-lovers, but you, someone that you always wanted to date, they're coming back. Or you're giving something a second chance. Maybe I should be with the guy. Maybe I should give the guy another chance. Maybe something screwy happened and, and we got a little sideways. Maybe something, what the F, you know, what's going on with this action? Maybe you wanted, there's more to it though. Maybe you wanted to be pregnant and it didn't work out. And now you're trying to get pregnant again. After this weekend, you're going to have some resolutions here and then you're going to move forward. You know, you're going to have some resolutions and then you're going to move forward, Virgo. So that's the deal. It's about making peace with stuff that you were doing, that you feel like uh, you should be doing. Once again, Mars retrograde is what you feel um, is what you used to do, revisiting things you used to do. Mars crossing the nodes is what you want to do. But it's nowhere close to the nodes. Like, that's not even close. Five, six, seven degrees. Like, that's not even close. And so, next, for Libra, this is it. Something is happening at home. Something is happening with your family. Something very personal that usually grounds you and offers you stability in life. This is your astrological touchstone. And so, anybody know what I mean by a touchstone? And so, this is going to happen here. And then, uh, you're going to make peace with problems at home. Libras have had problems at home. Libras had it tough. And once again, you got to calibrate it for yourself. But wherever there was a situation that you've been revisiting, you're going to have resolution this weekend and then you're going to move forward. Everybody cool, Libra? Libra knows what it is. Libra's got hit extremely hard in this situation. And so they're going to they're going to figure it out. And so next, if a Virgo is in a relationship, you guys are going to resolve a situation in your relationship, in your dating life. Cal Once again, you have to calibrate it for your situations. And um, you got to calibrate it for your relationship here. And Cheryl's saying, yeah, they resolve the issues. Yeah, it's about resolving your issues. For Scorpios, it's in travel and transportation. I'm picking my motorcycle up. I'm picking my motorcycle up. Travel, transportation, communications. I'm going to fix the Mac. Obviously, I'm not going to buy a new Mac. They're expensive. But I'm picking up my bike, picking up my motorcycle. I'm going to put that story to rest. Resolution, communications. You know, talking with Scorpios, talking with people from the past. Mars, people from the past have been coming back and communicating with Scorpios. It's, uh, you know, things from the past you always, you know, should be doing. I'm going to be teaching music again. All this stuff from the past and communication. Communication. I'm talking to you guys about this stuff. So Scorpios, communication, transportation. You know, just go do it. Resolutions in that area of your life. For Sagittarius, you're going to have financial resolutions. We're going to pay for everything with the Sagittarius coming over today. So she doesn't have to spend a dime this weekend. And so that's what's going on with Sagis. They're going to have resolutions in the financial areas of their life. Uh, they're revisiting different ways to make money, you know, different bills. Maybe they should tighten the belt. Maybe they should spend a little more, how they should allocate their financial resources, you know. And it's, you know, it's just different areas. So Saji's got to deal with this scene. And finally, once again, for Capricorns, you're going to pull out that old jacket you used to wear and you're going to put it back on again. And that's the action, guys. Any questions before I pack it in? We didn't do the... Um, um, we're going to do a situation where we um, tomorrow we'll do the horoscopes for the week we'll do the weekly horoscopes but this is the rundown on this weekend on the full moon stuff and on the Mars going direct and it's good thanks for you know asking me to do it it was a good you know we went with it and I'm really cool with it and once again it's a reminder this is Topaz's website this is what we're supposed to be promoting today and Topaz Jewelry and Gifts .net. You know, she relaunched. Oh, son of a gun. She relaunched her website. You know, to, I'm just going to leave it here so you can see it. Topaz Jewelry and Gifts .net. So su let's su all support Topaz. You know, let's all support Topaz. 
Do 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 do. And oh yeah, Alicia, you're asking if we'll do a live show when we guess your star signs. You know, there are different ways you can guess the sign. You can guess it by a person's personality. You can guess it by what they're doing, how they stand, how their mannerisms are, how they look. That's your rising sign is how you look. Lucy here on the channel is really good at guessing your rising sign. But Lucy is really good at looking at you and guessing what your sign is. I'm not really that good at it. But uh, I'm really good at writing horoscopes and predicting your future. I'm very good at it. And so it's all different for everybody. And uh, don't worry, Sid. We're going to have the, the horoscopes are going to be back online. Uh, I'm going to turn this into a video for you guys and pop it up. Because uh, I think it's interesting. And Lion's Brand, we went on about lower. We spent. I spent about 40 minutes going on about lower degree numbers today. And Nikki, I didn't see your stuff. I missed your comment. I missed your email, but I'll get to it shortly. And for everyone else who are waiting for me to get back to you for personal readings, I'll get a. I'll get on that shortly. Especially Pam. Pam, you sent me a message. We'll. Um, or if Pam's watching, Pam, just send me an email and tell me when you're free next week, and we'll set it up. <laughs> just because, you know, and uh, or I'll send you a message. And that's the action, guys. I hope everyone has a super amazing day. Yeah, let's let's support Topaz. She's a longtime Sunny Sider here. And what else is going on? Thanks for tuning in with me. It was early today because uh, you know Scooter's coming over, and we're going to go to the show today. And what else is going on? If you want a personal reading, check out the, check it out in the description box. Again, I have a workshop that's coming up. If you want to learn about how to read the major arcana it's coming up if you want to learn more about tarot or if you're a professional tarot reader and you want a different look on things uh, if you want to learn the stories then you know check that out if you want a personal reading check it out in the description box i'd love to do that i'm repeating myself and what else is going on what else is happening astrologically do you guys need to know topaz's website's coming up anything happening with me or any other sunny siders you know Oh, thanks, Catherine. I appreciate that. Do you know what? In Freemasonry, we say at the end of our business meeting or at the end of our meetings, right? We have two types of meetings in, in the craft. At the end of our meetings, we usually say, does anyone have anything else to say for the benefit of Masonry in general or specifically for the Lodge? Does anyone in the Lodge have anything that they want to say for themselves or for the benefit of Freemasonry in general or the world? And we just take a moment. And we say, you know, someone might say, hey, yeah, you know what? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about something. And I, anyways, I hope everyone has an absolutely wonderful weekend. I hope, hope everything is cool. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it so yet. Please join our Facebook group if you'd like to do that. And if you have any questions, you know, just be super cool. And Monica needs some good energy. So let's send Monica some energy her way. And for everybody in life, don't, you know, just be confident. You know, the answers are out there. Oh, Monica lost two people in two weeks. That sucks. Well, you know, well, we'll send you some, you know, everybody will send you some healing recce, you know. You're welcome, Stefania. And for Sue, who got banned a little earlier, I'll bring you back shortly. Don't worry about it. But you should know better than to say those things. And, like... Oh, I hear you, Monica. That's That happens in life sometimes. That's the way it works. My sister died when she was 25. I totally get it. And so, or she wasn't 25 yet. She was almost 25. And that's the action. And that's the action. So please subscribe to the channel, you know, if you want to check it out. On Sunday, we'll have a full moon spell. So if you want to be part of the full moon spell, check that out. Tomorrow, we'll do the videos. Uh, we'll do the weekly horoscopes, and th that's about it. And that's about that's about it. Keep um keep abreast with the channel. Keep tuning in. Uh, we're going to be doing music lessons soon. They're going to be really fun. If you know any kids who want to study music, you know if there are any kids that you know who are studying music, I'm going to start off with ukulele. And the flute, or probably I might do guitar as well because Papa Sunshine wants to learn guitar. But like, so if you know any kids who want to study music, 
then have them tune into the live streams and uh, they can play along they can play along because it's a jam music is inclusionary you're supposed to you know music is an ensemble thing it's together that makes it a beautiful day and that's the action that's the action you know so oh no way Nikki that's gonna be really cute <laughs> Uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah, the kids love the music. We'll do a couple of different ones. We'll do ukulele and recorder for the babies, and then we'll move on to the bigger kids as well. The bigger kids don't start music for another couple of weeks, but, uh, you know, we'll start the babies when we start the babies. Thank Frank. I super appreciate that. I super appreciate that. Is it different today? We didn't do the individual horoscopes, but we'll do that tomorrow. Sometimes we got to, sometimes we'll plug ahead with that. I'll say it again. So for the babies, we're going to do ukulele and recorder. <laughs> you guys should have seen one of my little students, Charlie, was so young. And he was a Capricorn, and he just loved it. And it, he was so young when he started the clarinet, he couldn't. He could only cover like two holes. So we played like two two-note songs for like a year and a half until his fingers grew. A number of students were like that. And the... Um, a number of my students were like that. They started off young and they couldn't cover the holes. Then Charlie lost his teeth and he was playing clarinet with no front teeth. <laughs> it was really cute for like six, seven months. <laughs> like It was really funny. It was so cute. And then the, um, you know, there are some other students that we had like, like, um, I had a lot of students like, Georgia like she started when she was really young and then then we had um, We had a lot of I had a lot of students over the years they started when they were really young and they could barely um, hold their instruments and at the end of it they were like They did really really well, you know, and I remember I remember all of them. There's one who I'm thinking of right now who started really young and she's amazing she's amazing now and I can't like a little Olivia started young and she was amazing now and there's I have her picture in my mind and she's she's a Pisces she was my last student on Saturday for years and I know I remember her mom her mom's name's Dan and I remember her dad's really cool he's from Newfoundland and her name is slipping my mind. It's only been a year and her name's already... It's Wendy. <laughs> Wendy's a Pisces. She's an, she's an amazing musician now. She was a clarinet. She started, her fingers were so small and you could see her reaching for the keys. You could see her brain working, her musical mind developing. She's really smart, by the way. And anyways, I'm very proud of all my students. And I'm proud with every proud of I'm I'm very proud of uh, all the work that everyone was able to accomplish over the years. There's um, you know a number of my students won a lot of awards. A number of my students won a bunch of awards over the years, and um, it was really cute. Not to toot my own horn, but I won a lot of awards when I was young, and. The kids are winning the awards that I used to win is really cute. <laughs> Mason won the stage band, the Outstanding Soloist Award, the big award in Music Fest. And, you know, I won that award when I was young. It was really cute. And um, it was really cute. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the, uh, there was one of the, anyways, anyways, I was, I'm just very proud of them. All right, let's get out of here, guys. It was a beautiful day to be, remember, it's a beautiful day to be beautiful. Be cool, everybody. Just tell your kids, if you have any kids or anyone, let's start the show, start the, with the ground, with hit the ground with our feet running. Once again, this is Topaz's website. Let's support her. She's a sunny sider. And um, remember, it's together that it's a beautiful day. It's always a beautiful day to be beautiful, but it's together that makes it a beautiful day. And that's the action, guys. And um, that's the action. From the sunnyside.net, I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the absolute best of a beautiful day. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you guys soon. Be super cool. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys soon. <laughs>